this year, as always, I got to give a big shout out to Bailey Metal Products. Obviously, they're our title sponsor. Without them and the family, none of this would happen. This is a long season. We're away every single weekend. If we're not racing, we're practicing. So my wife, my daughter, they put up with a lot. That's the biggest part of this, is the family aspect. But obviously, I've got to thank a whole list of sponsors that help us out. For 217, we've got uh, five different riders on our main team. Stahl Egan, riding pro. Mitch King, riding pro. Ryan Hunt, riding pro light. Isaac St. Ange, riding sport. And we've got Eric Williams, riding novice and 120 class. And racing on our snow bikes, Nate Bliss is holding down first place overall in that class. We've got Mark Freeman also racing in there, and when he's been able to show up on weekends, he's podium almost every single time. So that's uh, pretty awesome for the first year on that new class. This year we did a lot of homework on snow bikes, and we opted to go with the Yeti snow kit that we've uh, bolted onto our stock motocross bikes. And now we've got three Yeti kits on our team, and we've got three riders racing them. This season was very good. Uh, everybody is doing quite well on the team. We've had our ups and downs, but everybody makes it to podium. Everybody's healthy, and that's what I call a good season. We've had a lot of wins. We've made the sleds work a lot better. You know, Skidoo gave us an awesome product. Suspension, clutching, everything's been dialed in right from the start. Just a little bit of improvements here and there, and we are running stock. MBRP on board with the new stock program. They worked with us really hard to make the exhaust can work. From Daco belts, AMS oil, everybody. They like our feedback and we like to be able to give the feedback so we can get a better product at the end of the day. Going into Pro Light uh, for the second year now, I stepped on the podium three times in first. A really big accomplishment for me, and not only going on the podium three times in the number one spot, I've been on it several times in second and third, so just out here having fun and doing my best. I approached this season a lot stronger. Uh, did a lot more training this year, a lot more cardio built up some muscle um, and just worked hard to uh, earn the number one spot. The machines and the equipment have been awesome, you know, the new sleds have been working amazing. They're an awesome sled and we've been able to adapt to them really well, so it's working good. One of my big things I wanted to work on this year was to be more consistent and uh, not have as many crashes or, or issues or things like that, so I think I've really been able to improve that this year. The machines have been uh, have been working pretty good this year, and obviously, like our equipment, our sponsors, like everyone that's helping us out, CNA skis, Stud Boy Traction, all the people that are backing us, all their products have been working great. So we're thankful to have them in our corner. I think the season went pretty good for all of us. Uh, no injuries, and all the sleds are doing really well, and all the riders are doing decent. Mitch has really improved, and he's not wrecking as many parts this year. So it's been uh, pretty fun. To be a pro open rider, you have to have a lot of experience. This is my 15th year, I think. And when you get experience, you know what to tell your mechanic. It helps him to be better, it helps me to be better and have a better sled. The riding itself is really hard because everybody out there is so high level. When you do a mistake, you get like couple sleds passing you right away because everybody's on point. You have to be in shape, you have to have a team that is backing you up. It's not only you that is a pro, it's the whole team that's actually a pro.
The snow bikes and sleds are two totally different animals. It's been a lot of fun, uh, you know, getting the setup figured out with the with the snow bikes. Uh, we've had quite a few years of development with the snowmobiles, so we got a good program put together. The bikes are all new, and it's been a lot of fun working with them and getting them where they are today. I think the snow bikes do a future in the CSRA. Um, it's shown this year how quickly it's grown. There's just a few guys that started, and we're already up to 14 at the line of horseshoe this weekend. It's pretty exciting in that respect. You know, it's huge out west. There's tons of guys doing backcountry riding out there. I think there's a huge market here as well, especially where we are in Muskoka for adventure riding. Um, there's tons of land, lots of good backcountry riding there as well. And then again with the racing, you know, there's all the racing and seeing the potential there is with, with what we're doing this year. My first thoughts when I rode a snow bike was, wow, what did I get myself into? I thought, oh wow, it's, it's just a dirt bike, you know, I've been, I've been riding these my whole life, it's easy. But no, uh, they were definitely a lot different. This year is the first year uh, CSRA has introduced snow bikes. They've actually kind of been growing the last couple years and I believe seven series started up this year in North America. I'm excited for the sport to keep growing and I can't wait for there to be 100 bikes out there. It's just freedom in a way, because you can do a lot more, but also it's it's harder. So you have to work harder to make the machine do its thing and then go where you want to go. I find it more fun because you're not restricted, and especially in the trails, you can kind of go through the trees a little better. You can't take the same lines as a snowmobile because the holes are pretty deep, so you have to kind of weave, find the smooth lines, and it makes it a bit of a challenge, and I actually enjoy it. Being it's my first year in the CSRA, uh, learning the snowmobile world, learning the snow bike world, I've been smiling nonstop, having a blast, and uh, I, I mean, I can't say nothing about good things. <laughs>